Greetings everyone, I will be making a new song today simply to show off my process for making songs. First off, this is just Conveyor Castle, so we're going to click on... Can you guys even see this? Yeah, you guys can. Uh, we're going to click on New Project, we're not gonna save because... I don't know. And first of all, I have to come up with something, like a bass line. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. Uh... Base. I'm gonna measure the tempo for that. Oh, that I like that like little thing. So now I'm going to just transcribe that. So first I'm gonna guess the first note, and then from there just kind of like get a little bit, kind of how it sounds or how I think it sounds. Okay, this sounds different from what I imagined, but it also sounds kind of cool. Also, tip when making songs, kind of just do something. Um, here I actually started kind of complicated, but uh, if you really think about this, it actually sounds like this. Uh, so like, this is like the complicated version, and this is what is actually happening so like complicated version and this is what is actually happening but like my brain automatically filled in like this note and this note to make it a little bit groovier uh, it's just a little simple thing that you just kind of start to pick up as you make music i just kind of did it around mm -hmm. I wanna. I think I wanna remove that note and do something like. Yes, yeah. So now I have the first uh, measure. I don't know how they are actually called. I know very little music theory apart from the fact that scales exist. So, like for example, this is. Probably in D sharp major, so like D sharp major will go. And like th those are the only notes that I'm allowed to use for this song. So if I put like this here, then it usually would only be when I do something like, like this. So like as an intermediate tone between both of them to like. So like, let me show how that would sound. So like without the intermediate tone it will be... But with the intermediate tone it will be... So like it has a little bit more spice but sometimes you don't want to overdo it. Like for example if I were to do... Um, like this. It doesn't sound as good as just doing... Bad example, but yeah, this is in D sharp major, I guess. Just sort of cooked it up. And like, what I'm going to do is to make this like song good, I'm going to simply copy and paste and paste and paste. And now we have a basic beat. It sounds stupid, but this is actually how music theory works, as far as I know. And this is just how do how do music. I just kind of like do something that's like. Yeah, that sounds kind of good. And then what I do is I just copy and paste it over and over, like specifically four times, because that's just how the human brain likes things. They just like it four times. And then what I do is I change in each, like, I do variations for the things. So, like, first we have. 
and then I will like change this to be a little different, a little bit of a different groove. Ding, 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 ding. It's like even just removing that little D sharp major, it like sounds different. So now I'm going to play this. It's still not quite where I want it to be, but um, it's getting there. Oh yeah, that sounds very groovy. Something I like to do is keep the first and third like parts of the beat the same because then brain recognizes and it's like a YouTuber Charles Connell, I think, called it like a sort of call and response thing. So like, this will be the call and this is the response. So we're going to listen to how it listens. Listens? Does that song listen or do we listen to it? Yeah, and that's like basically done. I will probably like change this up right now I'm so I'm high higher high explorer why are you why are you here yeah I think I'm high explorer again I for I I'm so used to controlling but I haven't even I should probably actually save the project file always save project files don't forget to uh save project files Oh my gosh, I all I almost leaked the one. And now we have a very simple bass. Yeah, that sounds good. Something I also like to do when I'm a bit stuck is just just kind of play notes with my keyboard, which is just a regular keyboard, it's not a music keyboard, because...
Thank mm-hmm. you.